All right, guys, it is a fine looking, <clears throat> fine looking Wednesday morning, July 1st, 2020. We are one half of the way through 2020. Do you believe it? So let the second half begin. It is 66 degrees here at uh, <clears throat> Bugs in a Jar Farm. I have to get ready for my trip to the dentist. So I'm taking a little dog on his morning constitution walk. Look at this wildflower garden. So I was up at Basil's yesterday and uh, he was pointing out that there's something missing this year in, uh, in upstate New York. And uh, so what is missing are the pollinators. Uh, don't you be, come here. So like this is elderberry. That is elderberry, which is, uh, now it is just coming into bloom, but plenty of those should be attracting pollinators. He is talking about how this elderberry should just be covered with honeybees and bumblebees. Uh, not one sign not one sign of of the bees working i don't even know what you call this beautiful golden colored uh queen anne's lace daisies clover all sorts there's three kinds of clover uh which should be full of i'm waiting to find one single pollinator and uh, let me look at that beautiful thing. That's not clover, that's something else. Uh, not one. All right, I am determined we are going to find one honeybee at Bugs in a Jar Farm. The pollinators are not the bugs. The lightning bug population. <clears throat> is doing fine. I mean, while I don't, I haven't compared it to any years before, the lightning bug population seems to be doing fine. And I'm thrilled to report there are virtually zero mosquitoes. No mosquitoes. We do have these damn biting deer flies during the day. They're not too bad. Uh, and look at, what is this stuff? Look at this. Is this gorgeous or what? Here at the... So I don't know if uh, pollinators go for this stuff or not. They certainly are not going for this patch. Alright, there's the white clover. <clears throat> Basil was particularly mentioning the white clover. Every one of those should have a honeybee on it. The uh, honeybees in Garfield, Texas are much healthier population. We're actually going to get a beehive. That is on the list. Anyone in upstate New York knows where we can get a beehive. we got to bring in our own. Basil was saying he had to hand pollinate his tomato plants this year since there were nothing, no pollinators working his tomato plants. I actually have fruit setting on my uh, tomatoes. But I think they were probably already setting when I bought them. I bought the starts. Alright, so the men working, so what they're doing now, <clears throat> they're going to be in front of the Hambone Hilton today. Uh, they're literally ripping out the old pavement. Now, they're, they're not just putting the dirt on top of the pavement. They got this damn planet-eating machine. They're actually uh, in sight now, coming around the road. So before 7 o'clock this morning, they had this thing. They're actually ripping out the pavement and hauling it off and then dumping dirt. Now I hear it's going to be 
they're going to rock and oil on this farm here. Come here. I do not want him to see that C-H-I-P-P-I-E in the middle of the road. Alright, we have a new kind of flower. This white. There's another new flower. We're still waiting for our first honeybee. I guess these blue flowers are called chicory. Uh, we have some game trail going back here. There's a been a sighting of a mama bear with three cubs running around bugs on a jar. I haven't seen mama with three cubs and a big ass daddy bear. People are telling me this guy is a monster. Assumingly the daddy of the three cubs. So I need to keep the little dog because he would jump right on a bear cub. He would have no problem attacking a bear cub with a mama bear eight feet away. Come here, little dog. All right, here comes this planet-eating truck heading my way. All right, well. Look at that beautiful thing. I think that might be called a bachelor button. Not one honeybee has been found. Come here, little dog. There we go. It's an exciting day at Okay, I have walked all the way from Jerry's house to here. There is not one pollinator from here to Jerry's house. Not one pollinator. We have got to get that beer, beer, <laughs> beer hive. We got to get the beer hive. Look at that fine roof line. Jerry said he noticed it. Uh, so the neighbors are already noted he's putting on his roof today. Look at that fine roof line. <laughs> Good God Almighty, we're loading up the living room with with mortar mix. We just put unloaded 360 pounds of mortar into the living room, and I'm going to get another 240 pounds. So uh, we're going to try, what is that, 600 pounds of uh, mortar mix we're going to put in to this low corner and float it out. And that's it. That is it. And I'm done with this bullshit. I'm moving on with my life. Good God. Can you say backache? 60 years old. <laughs> 